Have you ever been in a sexual situation where you were um, not the Had aggressor? <laughs> <laughs> where you were like, where you felt victimized a little bit? No. There's never been any sex where you're like, I don't want this. No. Never once? Never once. You? Uh, not that I can recall. I mean, there are times where like... Like, like you hated uh, yourself for doing it? Yeah, sometimes. We no. had a little fight with his little angel and devil on your shoulder. Oh, the only reason I, I hated myself afterwards is if the person annoyed the shit out of me mm -hmm. afterwards, you know? Um, never, though, like, where it's been somebody that was, like, gross. And I'm like, oh, why would I do that? Right. Because usually I would just trumpet that to you. Or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, anyway. I'm going to make out from this story. One, I'm going to come. Yeah. Two, I'm going to get to tell people about yeah. it. About Bridge Beach. Bridge Beach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was Bridge Beach. I don't regret that. Oh, um, that one. That we were. God, this we were is a, the Hall of Fame of. Uh, I don't know. I got another story. You know it. Mm -mm. We were mm -hmm. in our um, well, probably early twenties, right? Yeah. At that point, we used to hang around the Devaney's house. Mm -hmm. Walter's fucking his, uh, <laughs> saviors. His, 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 his mix. <laughs> Mick and we Mick used too. to go down to their house all the time uh, with a couple other people. that would drop by uh, Brian Hart's Grove. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would uh, get beer and drink. What was that famous beer again? <laughs> oh, yeah, Budweiser. Budweiser. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, and uh, there was one night, it was like, it was kind of a party, actually. It was some sort of party. I don't know if it was a birthday or some shit, but there were more than the average number of people there. And next door to the Devaney's, well, she was old. There was an old lady. I can't remember her name, but she was like well into her 60s. Mm -hmm. And I guess her granddaughter came down. And um, she was there for the summer. And she wasn't, like, super young, but she was, like, maybe 17, 16, 17, something like that. And, and you were how and old was, at this point? I was, like, 20, maybe 19. So you're going through psychological counseling for drinking? Um, it, I think it was This is after after that. fucking Pam and Edgar went and it yelled was, at Jesse Strickland. <laughs> yeah, I think it was actually prior to that. But uh, anyway, so the, the girl comes over, and I'm really drunk, right? And... I don't we, know about that. That I was really drunk? I don't know about that. Oh, I'm that. not trying to put it off. I would have done it anyway. I right. do it right I now. Am not, <laughs> I am sober. not sure that you were drunk. I was pretty... I, I remember being Oof. pretty pretty drunk. Um, but at any rate, let's, let, for sake of argument... Stone cold I was sober. buzzed. Yeah, like I was too <laughs> totally. Um, um, and I started making out with the girl who was no less impaired than Jerry Jewell. She had, like, CP... <laughs> But like, like Hearts Grove, like she had those, uh, you know, like she, she couldn't walk correctly, but she had the like the Jerry Jewel like sideways talking and like head bobbing and shit. Uh -huh. And uh, so we were making. Oh up no! For, for, for <laughs> oh the no! Night. And at a certain point, uh, Dottie Devaney, you know, the, the John and Kevin's mother is just like, Brian, what are you doing? She's retarded. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and Hearts Grove goes. She's not. I, she has the same thing I do. I'm not retarded. <laughs> and, um, do you think she would have objected if Hearts Grove and her were were hooking up? No. I guess not. No. 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 I guess I was seen as uh, taking advantage. Of, <laughs> yeah. Who's Who's Jerry Jewell? Jerry Jewell is like remember on Facts of Life. Oh yeah, the, she the was comedian Blair's cousin. Re Blair's CP cousin. Yeah, yeah. And, would make uh, jokes about being palsy. So we. Um, she's also uh, the the gimp on uh, Deadwood. That's right. She was in Deadwood. Yeah. Um, so we made out for the better part of the night. And um, then <laughs> how, the, how did that start? I, that I don't remember. I just remember like being there, and then one minute they're talking, and then we're just like talking, and <laughs> and I turn around, and he is like full mouth <laughs> on this girl that I didn't know what she had, but I just I just was like that she was definitely there was an apple core at her feet. <laughs> <laughs> A special ed person, and it was just so special startling. <laughs> it was startling, at, to say the least. Uh, <laughs> but the bridge beach thing was—I uh, don't know what. Because was I lifeguarding at that point? I, th yeah, I think I must. Have been. I, I worked for the—I worked for the town as a lifeguard. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I was lifeguarding what they referred so to. So you were at the, the at the you were at the. Um, Beach that was right next to Careless Navigator. Right, right. The, right the next right day, he was, he was scheduled. The next day, I was there. scheduled to be there. Mm -hmm. So I told her to meet me there, and it was like it was a real like 
like parting is such sweet sorrow. I'm like, come to the bridge beach. She's like, I'm going to be there. And I guess she got in trouble because yeah, she never did show up. I think she got in trouble for making out with me. I screaming as we're leaving. Bridge beach! <laughs> bridge beach! <laughs> 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 uh, she broke my heart though. She never did show up. Um, Someone uh, with CP was just like came to their senses the next morning. We're like, I, I could do better than that guy. Yeah, she's like, if you were to ask her, like, is there anyone you ever regretted? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, there was this one retarded guy in Highlands. <laughs> I'm, I'm not retarded. <laughs> yeah, I remember Hearts Grove stayed over that night and. Uh, the door, the front door was locked. I had to crawl through the bathroom window and fucking cut the shit out of my leg. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked it up real bad, but it was worth it. Man. Um, other than that, yeah, I mean, it's it's mostly like oh, I wish I hadn't done that because now this person is gonna keep wanting to talk to me. Like metal lady? No, she was not a she wasn't a whole metal lady. She um she was a tough fucking nut to crack that one. Right. She was, a, she was a, for all her, uh, her, her metal, uh... She didn't surrender to the ways of metal completely. She did not. She did not. She, she only flirted with metal. A little bit of, yeah, she, it, it was a, lo- a lot of, like, feeling up and, and that sort of stuff, and mm-hmm. OBJ after fucking so much work. A lot awesome. of talking into, like, come on. Yeah, a lot of begging, a lot of offering of payment. <laughs> Please, <laughs> I'm making out with CP chicks. I'm over here with an retard, so I'm floating in a sea of fucking sub-intelligent fucks. <laughs> Sitting alone at the Bridge Beach. <laughs> Fuck, how she used me. <laughs> I got stood up at Bridge Beach. Yeah. By Bridge who, Beach. you'll never believe. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down for this. <laughs> you're gonna feel sorry for me. You're gonna, you're gonna at least let me fucking go over the bra on this one. <laughs> Such a haunting image. Bridge beach. Yeah. <laughs> when you turn the corner, we can still hear it. <laughs> like you imagine, like, it's a movie the next shot is like me waking up in a fucking face full of dog shit, and the bridge beach is echoing. I'm like, what? What happened? What happened? <laughs> I mean, it's just like the story sounds like it's going to end with like, and I didn't go to Bridge Beach. I wasn't going to go to Bridge <laughs> no. Beach. But I it literally ends. Early for work. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is she? <laughs> I just think it's funny that you're like, she must have gotten in trouble. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure she did. Well, As opposed not. to she just thought it over and was like, fuck this. She got to make out with a normie. Why the fuck? Did she not come back, come back for more of that magic? <laughs> yeah, the way... No, I gotta agree with him. The way that she was, like, hanging on him the night as we left, there's no doubt that she was forcibly kept away from that beach. Remember Madball? That's the kind of shit I want. Oh, uh, yeah. Down at the rack, remember you said you closed up that night? I don't remember. And, uh, I don't remember that at all. I remember that vaguely. I don't remember the story at all. <laughs> Why'd you uh, call her Madball? I don't know. I think it was because her face. Remember, like, the, the old Madballs? I don't like, think anybody's going to know what those are. <laughs> those bulgy eyes and, like, very, like, round faces. Right. And I guess for some reason. I mean, I didn't come up with the name. I'm not really sure who did. But, uh, yeah, you were at the rack. And, um,. You were working nights and you locked up. Mm-hmm. And you told us that um, you heard them on the oh, outside of the door. Sweet yeah. whispers. <clears throat> they're outside. Uh, they were outside and they were they were at the like recreation petting. center. It was right. uh, in the doorway. Like teenage I don't petting. even know who the boy was in though. the doorway oh, of the me. recreation I center. <laughs> <laughs> and they were Bill and Coo. What does that mean? They, they were, were doing canoodling? it. Canoodling. I, yeah, I don't think they were in the full throes of, mm-hmm. of penetration, but they were like heavy petting. <laughs> the throes of penetration. <laughs> <laughs> they were necking and shit. And, and I think one, and I think the kid, the boy, of uh, uh, the one line that was, uh, just, I guess, was stuck with you. <laughs> 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 right, if I'm, if I'm, unless I'm incorrect, I remember you saying it was a build-up where he was like, I was, I remember I was at that party. And like, oh I, I, yeah! Remember, wow, and, yeah. And he's like, you know, and I, you know, I didn't know you. I saw I, you, and I was like, that's the kind of shit I want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and evidently, that's the kind of shit he got. <laughs> but, <laughs> a line for the ages. <laughs> Isn't that how you proposed to your lady? <laughs> you know, I overheard this one day. Sometimes the words of another are more suitable than your own. And I said, that's the kind of shit I want. 
poet once said. <laughs> there are. Wow, I can't believe you remembered that. That line fucking sticks with me. <laughs> That's the kind of shit I want. It was the it was the beat though. That's the kind of pause. shit I want. <laughs> <laughs> No, you, are you on the opposite side of a door? I was listening. Yeah. I was listening <laughs> on the opposite side because I couldn't. I couldn't get out to, to leave the building. I you wanted to door. go home, but you're like, I don't want to disrupt this beautiful moment. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what to do. So they must have stayed there for a while. No, before. what happened was um, they didn't. They didn't have much longer than that because the cops drove. The cops would periodically drive by, and when they saw the cops, they got up and walked away. Right. Walked down towards the beach, and I slinkered away. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking perv. <laughs> <laughs>